Hello world and welcome back. I'm Car, the Great Bear of the North, and this is Planet Zoo. And we are staring at our lovely little guy, Salko, who I believe is about to mature. And thank you very much, Christy Sank, for the suggestion. Christy initially suggested Karhu for the otter, but bear um, is what Karhu means in Finnish. So I looked up what otter was in Finnish, and it is Salko. And so our little guy is Salko, the Finnish otter, which is lovely. Thank you very much, Christy, for that uh, suggestion. I didn't take your exact suggestion, which does make me feel a little bit bad, but I did. Um, I was definitely inspired by it. And also, big thank you, merci beaucoup, uh, Queen Gabby, for sponsoring, for being our first North American otter sponsor. It is that easy. All you need to do is just say in the comments, hey, I want to sponsor an otter there we go oh and also i promised well i didn't promise but here's a little surprise for queen gabby where are the baby lemurs is that a baby lemur this is indeed a baby lemur oh but that's a dude baby lemur let's go for a where are the there's the genealogy let's go for Boahirana? Okay, I don't know how to pronounce that. So, let's go. Let's find Boahirana. Okay, we can't actually do it that way. Boahirana. There we go. This is... Where is Boahirana? You're in there somewhere, buddy. Is this you? No, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to click on the custard apple tree. I want to click on the... on the lemur. Nope, nope. Not the climbable ramp, either. I want the lemur. Nope, not the strangler fig. I want the lemur. Oh no, I actually want this lemur. Okay, well, that's not gonna work. Um, maybe I can do it this way. If we click on. Okay, we do it this way. Through the animals list. Vohirana, Vohirana. There we go. We're gonna change your name to. Nope, nope. Oh man, did it again. Did it again. That is one thing about having so much foliage. It is difficult to click on many things. We now have a baby lemur named Gabby. Again, merci beaucoup, Gabby. You are now a red rough lemur. I agree, they are absolutely adorable. I'm also enjoying how profitable. Actually, uh, it appears we need to duplicate some of these. We don't actually have a garbage bin anywhere in here. Um, I'm loving how profitable these are. In the little bit of time after I built the koala and the red kangaroos, we've earned $26,000. $26,000. Two years ago, I only profited six grand. This year, I profited 26 grand. So that's good. Koala tree top track. Again, we still need two sponsors. And our red kangaroo also still needs two sponsors. But this is what I've been working on off camera. There's a trail going from the totally not a Tim Hortons up here over this mountain. There we go. And it overlooks the trains, the train tunnel, which I can sort of hear it coming. Although I think they're actually on the other side of the hill. This is going to go around to a secondary habitat that I actually haven't told you about yet. But then if you go down here, and you walk down the cliffs, you head back down to Pueblo Revival Station. And we go down, and then down, and then down again. Okay, it's long. It's long. I encourage the people to take the train. But we get to this area. And I asked, them, I asked you guys here what this area needed. And you agreed that it needed a little something. I also asked on Reddit what it needed, and they said color and some foliage. So I added some color and some foliage, and I think it now pops. I think it now absolutely pops. And so this is good. We've added a keeper hut. I'm going to fix that. And over here, there's going to be a food court as well. But this, this is the majesty of the entire area. This habitat... This habitat is 8,000 square meters. 
We don't have any water because I've been terraforming. But this 8,000 square meters is going to be our American bison in our pronghorn habitat. We're going to have a waterfall down here. We're going to have it's going to be surrounded by red rock and, and there's going to be some foliage and, and there's like a way to cross the river here. And I need another way to like wade into the river here. Because um, I think the river's actually going to end up going down this way. But I'm not exactly sure about that. But that's what we're going to be working on today, getting the bones of this. In fact, I've already even purchased the animals. I purchased a bunch. We have nine animals, American bison and pronghorn, that are going to go into this area. So let's... Come on. There we go. And we've also got... Um... Oh, I should probably open up the Just a Momento. Now that people are going to be coming over here. There we go. Got the just a momento. We've got. I know this is um, an Indian cart, but I figured it, it looked like it worked. We got a little storage area for like hand carts that still have stuff on it. I like it. I like the little details. It's the little details. And I know some of you guys might be thinking that this is a little bit lush foliage for a desert area, but this is more of like a scrubland grassland area. So it's good. I think we're okay. I think we are. Okay, but I've been talking for way too long. So, time lapse!
I'm excited about this. This is the first people coming along. The Car Who Express. The now bright blue and white with a hint of black. Channels colors. Car Who Express. I'm very excited for them to pull into Pueblo Station. Okay, that's an ugly undershot, but whatever. I don't care about interiors at all. And, uh, yeah, the, the first people coming out, I'm excited. They're going to come out the back here. I want to see what this looks like of people. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. And this is great. And eventually they will make it their way all the way out here. And they'll be joining us out here. I should probably build the, um, the food court here before I work on the rest of the animal habitat because facility is having a significant negative impact. Oh yeah, there's transformer in the stack rooms because they are back here. Yeah. And they're walking right by it, aren't they? Oh, they're walking right over it. They can't even see it, but yet that affects them. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna need to move that around because everybody getting off that train station is going to be negatively affected by that and i don't want that to happen um but yeah but these guys like look at this look at all this room for activities i mean this is great the bison love it their nutrition their last meal quality wasn't that great but that's okay and uh in in the pronghorns they absolutely love all of this space i mean it's it's, it's got a lot of rock work to do a lot of rock work but but you know we can we can do this we can do this oh hey yeah while i'm here pablo and a misspelt stealthy assassin in honor of our named reindeer but yeah this is what the this is what the habitat's gonna look like it's got a lot of rock work. Most of the rock work I'm going to do off camera. You don't need to see all of that. But yeah, so we've got the the water that they will happily walk through across here. I think we are going to end up having a bridge to continue this water feature out here. I would like all of our water to actually be kind of connected. Um, and they love it. There's great viewing right here. There's great viewing on this trail. And all the way over, are people actually walking along the entire trail? Nope, that's staff members. Nobody's actually willing to brave the mountain trek. Oh well. I didn't anticipate they would, but once this all gets foliaged. Is foliaged even a word? I don't know. But uh yeah, there's good there's good viewing angles from everywhere. And they can't get on the track, which is great. But we're uh we're doing pretty good. Oh the people the people are out here. Are they here? Yeah. They're looking at the Western Diamondback. I love that. Hello, Western Diamondback. And how much did we make last year? Yeah, we made 37,000. That's 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 the effect the koalas and the red kangaroos have. I actually did a little bit of... Um, I may have cheated a little bit. Like, not, not a little bit. I used resources. And I checked that the second highest rated um, appeal per cost of food animal in the game is koala the most efficient is actually the red panda so i made sure that we had the koalas and that is definitely increasing our our money quite significantly so let's be a tip for you guys in the future if you're starting a zoo and you don't know how to profit koalas and red pandas are your answer koalas and red pandas there you go but the koalas are actually already pretty good in terms of everything. I'm just going through the research. Arctic theme. High amount of litter. Where? Where? Nope. Not there. Where's the high amount of litter? Shoma? Oh, right there. That is the high amounts of litter. There's a garbage can right there, people. We got some litter there. Oh, I guess I need some more bins. All right, all right, all right. I'll get the bins. We'll get a bin there. And we'll get a bin there. There we go. That should be enough bins. And we have bins right there. No, oh, people are just lazy jerks. 
And okay, okay, so we have lots of litter right in here. Because people don't want to put things in that bin or that bin. Like, what is going on with you animals? You people are disgusting. Okay. We need specifically a caretaker that is going to join this this little food court area. And your work zone is going to be um, Car Hall Food Court. It's going to just stay around here and keep this up. You know what? We should probably get two. Just because I'd rather have two than, than not enough. Um, caretakers. Where's the other one? There we go. Oops. Car Hall. I wish these were in some kind of order. But they're in order that you created them, not in alphabetical order, so it makes it a little bit difficult. But there you go. And we have balloons. Oh yes, because I also built right out here. It's a temporary little... Little gift shop. I'll end up doing that off camera, but whatever. Back to to this. Let's build... We've got the basics of... Uh, of the American bison in Pronghorn. Oh, people actually took the trek. Wow. People are walking. How tired are they? They still have energy, actually. Oh, cool. So let's build a food court here just so that they have somewhere to eat. Because, um, I mean, the rock work and, and the foliage, you guys don't need to see. Unless you guys do want to see that. Do you want to see this entire video of the rock work? If so, let me know. Otherwise, uh, let's build a food court.
And there we have it, folks. The almost complete Sedona or Red Rock Station, um, Pueblo Station. I haven't really figured out exactly what we're going to call this specific spot yet. But um, I still need to do a little bit of like overhangs here. But this is uh, this is what it looks like. Um, I think we're also going to get a little bit of a wall going around the rest of this. But for now, for now, this is the upgraded, the updo, the getting ready for prom, Oscar, whatever station. I know initially it looked really kind of bland. Uh oh. An animal has escaped. Find the vet. It's in an escaped animal status. It is Lenitra. Where where are you going, kiddo? How did you get back there? How did you how did three of you get back there? It has to be a bug. Like there has to be Like because they can't go underneath there. They I mean uh yeah. Okay, let me see. Let me find a lemur. Come on, lemurs. Where... Where are you? Oh, there's a lemur. Nope, that's a mangrove apple tree. I want the lemur. This is Hanitra. And if you go to the traversable area, they should not be able to get back here. There's no... There's no way... No way they should be able to get there. So I don't know what's going on. And that's not the first time those guys have done that. But uh, but anyways, here is Red Rock Station, Pueblo Station. I don't know what we're going to call it. If you guys have an idea of what to call this, please let me know. There's still a lot of work on the habitat to go. A lot of work. But as you can see, this is the kind of what the river valley is going to look like. It's going to be like this with some manzanita bushes going through and we're not going to get a whole lot of foliage in this because these pesky guys only want like 15% and these guys are fine with anything. But so for the bison we want a lot of open area. But we're going to get the rocks, you know, we're going to get the train tunnel, we're going to cover that up, we're going to clad that through. We're going to get a waterfall, but for now, I think you guys understand what this is all about. Yeah, we definitely need a mechanic here now. Actually, you know what? We should probably just hire another mechanic. We've got a lot of... We've got a lot of spaces to go. Oh, good. We have the entire aquatic theme. Let's get... Um, yeah, let's just hire another mechanic. Steph, mechanic. There we go. And you are going to specifically be dealing with, let's get a new work zone. You're going to deal with only this. And this is going to be Pueblo Station. There we go. It's called Pueblo Station. Thank you, Bridget. So yeah, I'm very pleased with this. Yeah, a little more, some more bushes in here. But this is... I would, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. Very pleased. If you have any other suggestions, um, please let me know. But specifically, oh, I'm, s dude ran all the way. And uh, he's already beaten to the punch by Bridget. Oh, well. It sucks to be that guy. Um, so yeah, I'm Carver the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment. I have a couple more planters I need to put here. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Please do comment. I do really love hearing from you all. Um, but most importantly, and I really do mean this, I say this every time, but it's absolutely true. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And I will see you all next time in Carzu, Toronto.